Oh, hey guys. Perfect. Yeah, there we go. Volume. Okay. Um, hey guys. Um, nothing new tutorial here. Um, today we're going to be adding input so we can change um, position X and Y, uh, that sort of stuff, and all key presses. First thing we're going to need to do is come into screen.java and change these. So if you just um, copy that line and paste it in there. Um, we're basically just going to combine the two into one um, just to make it a bit easier to understand what's going on later on so yeah change that and then delete that okay so just got our basic game here um, and now what we're going to want to do is create a new class called input handler and it's going to take one parameter um, as sorry we're going to make it extend key listener extend key um, yeah key listener. Um, uh, no what am I on about that should be extends uh, sorry implants it's implants key listener um, so now I'm going to say public input handler and we're going to give it a parameter of game um, just change game to whatever your main class is so if you call this main take give it a parameter of main and then we're just going to say game dot add key listener this okay and just import it and I'll source this life out Okay, next we're going to create a new method called toggle. Public void toggle. Um, sorry, public boolean toggle. Um, boolean um, key. Okay, yeah, we can call it key. Just to make that be quiet. Okay, we'll turn false. Happy, yeah, there we go. Okay, um, just add an implemented methods and get rid of the overrides because it's self explanatory and you don't actually need them. It's probably bad practice to delete them, but it, it works and it just makes your code look a lot neater. Okay, so. Right then, next. Oh, what am I doing here? Sorry. Um, we need to give this a key event parameter. So, uh, yeah, void. Jeez, public void. No, what is it? Um, yeah, public void toggle. So, yeah. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, key event. Key. Boolean pressed. Okay, so now um, we'll create a few Booleans. So public Boolean up equals well, yeah, just up equals false to so initialize it. Down equals false. Down left equals false and right equals false. Okay, so now so key pressed. Now we're going to say here is toggle uh, e and true, and then just here we'll say toggle e. False. It's now in toggle. Um, uh, yeah, we'll create an integer. So int q 
key code key code equals key dot get key code if key code equals ke dot vk up um then up equals toggle and now we're going to do is copy this so if just copy that Up, down, left, right. Um, down, left, right. Uh, not toggle, pressed. Okay. Change static using key event. Uh, yeah, key event. Sorry, I should have done that. So just make it key event dot v dot vk up. So now if I just organise that and save it. No errors, yay. And now if we come into game, we'll use our tick method. In fact no we won't. We'll create an object of it first. So public input handler input equals new input handler this okay so you've got this um, now what's next tick if 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 input ah uh, input in it fact no we don't need that yeah so if input dot uh right we'll do right first x scroll plus plus now we've created um let's copy this and change it to input dot left and then we'll say x scroll minus minus. Copy that. Change this to y scroll. Y scroll. So down and up. Okay, so now we need to create two integer values. So if we just stick it in here. Um, public int x scroll. Equals zero. Y scroll equals zero. Basically, just saying that there initializes them at the same time as creating them, so we don't have to initialize them later. Now here, where we said zero zero in our render method, we're going to give this parameter so x scroll, y scroll, and that should work. Doesn't. Is there an error being checked thrown? No. Okay. Stop. Kill that. Level up in the background. Let's scroll. Why scroll? Um, bam, 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 bam. Yep. Okay. Um, in here we need to say screen dot set offset x scroll y scroll. And then at the bottom, just say screen dot set offset zero comma zero. What that does is um, before we actually render our tiles, um, we'll set the offsets to our x scroll and y scroll values. But then here we will um, set them to zero. So if we are rendering anything after this, which we will be later on, it won't affect its position. And that should work. There we go. Now if you notice if I come up to the left of here, we haven't actually created a tile for that position, which is why it's just being filled with the rock. So now our smiley face just moves around. 
Okay, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, next, I'm hoping to add a player. Um, I'm, uh, there's a project here um, which I've been working on uh, that I'm adding a player in as well. And I just need to sort of figure out the best way to get the player working. Um, because if we're going to the full version of this, the player works fine. If I just go on, just load up. So I just hit a new game. The player's working fine, but if you look here, I can move inside the tile. I don't really want to be able to do that. It's nothing major, you can't do it going up or down, um, but it's kind of annoying. So I'm trying to figure out a way to do it slightly better than that, and if I can before um, doing the next tutorial I will, but that's what I'm planning on adding at the moment, so yeah. Um, so thanks for watching guys, and I hope to have the next tutorial up soon. Bye.